Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you all how I make my ultimate comfort food, potato soup. Oh, nothing says comfort food to me like this does. So first I'm going to set my burner to medium heat, and the first thing that I'm going to do is cook my bacon. I'm going to make about six slices, but you can make however many you want for garnish later, or if you like really bacony potato soup, you can add more to it. Once it is cooked, you want to set it off to the side and chop it for later on when you add it to your soup. Now what we are going to do with all of that yummy bacon grease is make a roux. And what you're going to do is take about a fourth of a cup of flour and you're going to mix it in with your bacon grease. And you're going to stir it up, make sure it's well combined, and then you're going to very slowly add two cups or one can of chicken broth. And I have learned to do this slowly. Um, I, in the past I've tried to do it all at once and it made everything very clumpy and very hard to unclump. So I add my flour and then I stir in a little bit of broth like I am right now and then later on I will add more and stir again and eventually it will become this and you want it to bubble on medium heat just like that and then you're going to add two cups of milk you're going to stir it and make sure it is well combined and then you're going to add your bacon bits that you have already cooked right into the pot and this next part coming up, I will have five potatoes peeled and diced in there, but this is kind of where I eyeball because sometimes the potatoes are smaller, sometimes they're larger, so you just eyeball it yourself. I'm going to turn it on to high heat and bring this all to a boil. And you're going to want this to boil for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the potatoes are tender. It's on high right now. I'm going to turn it down to medium to medium low heat. Eventually I'll bring it back up to medium heat because I want it more of a simmer. But you want that to simmer until the potatoes are nice and soft. And here I've added salt and pepper to it. I don't add a whole lot of seasoning because I just think that's really all it needs. But you are welcome to change this as you want. And this is what it looks like served up and ready to eat. And you can make this recipe your own. You can add chives, you can add sour cream, you can add heavy cream to your um, pot when you're actually making it. You can totally make this your own. And I have the girls' plates there as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe just as much as I do. And I will see you all in the next vlog. Bye.